I'm not gonna do it. Okay. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick, and we are continuing on with our transformations set of IXLs. We are going to be starting L7 today, which has to do with rotations. This one is specifically called rotate polygons about a point. Um, so all these problems are going to look pretty similar. They're going to give you an initial polygon or shape, and they're going to give you four choices as to uh, which one correlates to the directions they gave you, the, you know, the question they ask. And so when you read a question, it says, which diagram shows uh, triangle WXY, in this case, rotated 45 degrees is our first element, counterclockwise is our second element, and about Y is our third element. And why is that? Well, 45 degrees dictates how much it is rotating, you know, the distance it rotates, either a little or a lot. The counterclockwise is determining whether it rotates counterclockwise or lefty-loosey, or clockwise, so in the direction of a clock, you know, righty-tighty. And then about Y is which point is it rotating around, okay? So you can imagine Y, for instance, as kind of a hinge point. So for this problem, uh, for this first solution, for instance, you can see Y is the hinge point, right? We have our image triangle, the second triangle, uh, be created after our initial pre-image triangle is rotated, and it's rotating around Y, the point of rotation. So that's completely valid. Go down to the second one. Uh, is Y the hinge point here? No, right? Uh, the y's are separated, y and y prime are separated, so that cannot be about y. Uh, down here, y is the hinge point, good. And then over here, y is not the hinge point, they are again separated. So we are left with two different options here. We have either this option or this option. Okay, cool. So let's look at our second option here. Uh, let's do counterclockwise. So it needs to rotate this direction about 45 degrees. So x to x prime, w to w prime, does that look to be in the clockwise direction? Yes, we are rotating this pre-image to the image. Yes, that's gonna be against the normal flow of a clock, right? Opposite direction. Is it about 45 degrees? Well, 45 degrees is about a quarter turn. So w, uh, or not a quarter turn, an eighth turn, and a quarter turn would be 90 degrees. It's half of a quarter turn. So a quarter turn would be, for w would be approximately here, so if you're going to take uh, half the distance of that, you're probably going to end up around here, which is where W prime is, okay? Now let's go down to the other one. Okay, to get from here to here, are we going 45 degrees counterclockwise? Well, counterclockwise would be this direction and only uh, 45 degrees worth, so a little bit. So in theory, this one should end up closer to over here. This one looks like it might be going 45, maybe 90-ish degrees uh, clockwise toward the direction of the clock, right? Because we have to start with our pre-image and go to our image. We have to go to uh, or start with our X and end with our X prime. So it's going to be the first one right here. Cool. Okay, next we have another polygon. T, U, V, W is rotated 90 degrees clockwise about U. So first thing is first about U. U is going to be our point of rotation. So we'll come down here. U is not the point of rotation here. They need to be overlapping. U is the point of rotation here, good. U is point of rotation here, good. And U's are again separated, so that cannot be true. So we're left with two options, either this option or this option. So now 90 degrees counterclockwise. So about a quarter turn counterclockwise. So we'll go down here. Um, is it possible that when you rotate this uh, pre-image shape to the image shape that V is going to end up on V prime in the counterclockwise direction, which is, yeah, looks right, for 90 degrees, so about a quarter turn. Yeah, right? Uh, you can see this line and this line are just about perpendicular. Okay, that's a good indicator whether they're going to be uh, about a 90 degree rotation. So that might be good, okay? We'll go down here. Is it possible that something like V to V prime uh, would be a 90 degree turn, or W to W prime would be a 90 degree turn in the counterclockwise direction. Um, well, not so much. It looks to be something like 60, right? 
remember I was saying earlier that we probably want these lines to be more uh, perpendicular because it looks like we have just an angle right here and right here for V and V prime. And the angle between those two is definitely not 90. It's definitely not a right angle. It's probably closer to 60 or something. So we're going to say that this solution here is probably a little bit better. Okay, so we'll come down here and click Submit. Great job. Okay. Uh, triangle TVU is rotated 30 degrees counterclockwise about P. So let's see, is it rotated about P? Um, no. Rotated about P? Yes. Rotated about P? Yes. Rotated about P? No. Does not look like it. So again, we're down to these two right here. Cool. And then we're going to go to our 30 degrees and counterclockwise. So 30 degrees is just um, a third of a quarter turn. It's just a, it's a very small sliver, right? It's a 12th of a overall rotation. And it's going to be in the counterclockwise direction. So it's going to go from here to maybe here. Well, that's not quite 30 degrees. That looks like almost 180. That's a very long ways away. So probably not that one. And when we go down to here, we go U to U prime or V to V prime or T to T prime. Is that about a 30 degrees in the counterclockwise yeah, it's only a short distance in the counterclockwise direction from V to V prime, so probably that one. 